Today we're in the kitchen. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we got a fun guest helping us out. What's up, guys? My name is Luis Lola. I'm a private chef right here in Chicago. And today, I'm at this gorgeous venue called Wicker Park Inn, where I do a lot of classes from pizza, pierogi, pasta, and pochki. Oh shit, and that's my shirt, actually. Do you guys remember uh, this guy? That's right guys, we're in a kitchen today. Uh-oh, changing and, it up. Yeah, a little bit of a special guest going on. This is Phil Saban, and Phil knows a little bit more about food, cooking, and the culinary world than me and Corey's dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> One thing Philip Felipe Saban is not afraid to do is tell you all the dope shows he's been on. Cut to that. Probably already seen uh, a couple different shows from When You See You Live, to Live with Kelly and Ryan, Master Chef. Most importantly, number six with cheese with Sean and Corey, right? Well, I'm sorry that you're successful. <laughs> Exactly. So he's quarantined to Wicker Park Inn. We're quarantined to the number six with cheese kitchen. Wait, he's living he there? Literally, he literally has a sleeping bag under the kitchen. Uh, it looks hey, like it. Hey, I'm gonna believe you on that one. It's a beautiful kitchen. So today we're gonna do a little comfort food. We're gonna do a little fried chicken. I mean, who doesn't love fried chicken, right? But no, in all seriousness, Phil, he's a professional chef. He does classes. He's always featured on stuff. He knows what he's doing. We pretend to kind of know what we're doing in the kitchen. So today, a professional giving us step-by-step -step instructions on how to make homemade fried chicken. So what's the key ingredient for fried chicken? Beer. Chicken, obviously. Oh. I mean, who doesn't love fried chicken, <laughs> right? I have this and a little bit of magic juice. Oh, this is actually pickle juice, okay? Um, if you have pickle juice, don't go, hold on. Don't throw it away. Don't worry, Phil, we got them. Also, the juice is way better than the actual pickles. At me. Okay, thanks. Uh, I saw you guys gonna throw out all those pickles. You don't need to do that. If you have pickle juice, use that up. Kosher, you can also use your bread and butter pickles. Um, I let this marinate for one hour, all right? Keep that in mind. You guys can rewatch some clips of yourselves, um, or me, right? I, mean, I think you know, I'm just as funny. I think he's funnier than Sean. <laughs> Take some paper towels, put it right on here, okay? And we're gonna let this dry out a little bit. So we're gonna pat this, right? Just like that, you wanna make sure that all that juice that excess juice is left on the paper towel. You guys are following me still, right? You got this stuff? All right. Yes, got leave us alone. Perfect. And that does smell good, right? That's weird, I always kind of hate pickles, but the kind of some good juice does smell pretty good. Seems like an and one mixtape player that didn't make the team. Excess juice. Oh, yeah. it's excess juice! <laughs> <laughs> it just got handles. <laughs> Love that. Professor, him! What's up, Professor? All right, on the World Wide Web, this is like the most important part that people- Yeah, drying the chicken so it's not all sopping. Yeah. Yeah, go for it. So we butterflied our chicken, like Phil said. A little knife, uh, straight down the middle. Oh, yeah. Also, Phil, I will be invoicing you for paper towel because it's not the best time to be just blowing through it. Oh, yeah, should we, we should probably roll it out, too. It's kind of saran wrap, so dumb. There we go. Got to fit out these chicken brasses. You can use a rolling pin. We're going to use Jepson's Malort as a rolling pin. Go. Just can really like, you kind of stay on one spot and just kind of, yeah, there you go. Tenderize. Here, I don't like rolling, you do it. That's dumb. <laughs> I like hammering. I like hitting it. Dude, my Malort's gonna smell like pickles now. <laughs> it's a new, uh, new meaning to the phrase pickleback. <laughs> the many uses of Malort. <laughs> the more you know. They all flattened. Mmm, the sounds of cooking. Oh, that's what it sounds like in women's pants when they see my beard. <laughs> Gross. Now, this mixture, again, look at this gorgeous color. I gotta listen to Phil talk for another few minutes. I'm gonna drink. I'm gonna just be the guy who likes Phil and you're the guy who hates him. <laughs> you have some paprika, you have some onion powder, you have some garlic powder, and my secret ingredient is called adobo, okay? You wanna use adobo because this adds that nice salty umami flavor. Tell me when you think I hit a tablespoon. Oh yeah, you got it. I always go way more than enough. Yeah, right? Someone says one garlic, well we talked about this the other day. Yeah, we did. Whoa, onion powder. Hope you like onions. Those are big ol' holes. <laughs> that smells so good, oh my goodness. Yes it does. Donde est? Donde esta? Damn dude. 
Nice shaker. Phil, thanks for the tip, dude. Never used adobo before. Smells uh, unbelievable. Oh my god, that smells so good. It smells like a, it smells like a sativa heavy hybrid. <laughs> it's a throwback to the Toledo show. Oh yeah. How much of this? All of it. This is everything you should have in your pantry. If you don't, this is what you need to do. Go, run out to the store right now. You tell people to run out to the store in a pandemic? <laughs> Who has adobo in their pantry? That's what it's gonna look like. Beautifully seasoned. And then we're gonna put this right in potato starch. I know what you're thinking. This might look something you guys did back in high school, huh? But no, no, no. <laughs> I did meth like an adult. <laughs> it's just me trying to soft this. <laughs> All right, going in to our mixture. It does look and smell so good. Oh my God. Also, this guy's insane if he thinks we're only using a tablespoon of all these seasonings. <laughs> All right, now it's going in. We got cornstarch. The store was out of potato starch because of all these people hoarding. Okay, so that's pretty powdered out there, right? Yeah, that looks fantastic. It smells good. It kind of looks like America it with does. Alaska. Look, there's Alaska. It looks like Florida's down by San Diego, though. Yeah, it looks exactly like America. <laughs> I don't know what to do with my hands. And that's it. This is going to be the crispiest fried chicken that's a little healthier. There ain't no way this is healthy. Are you kidding me? What are you, an idiot? Listen, I, okay, oh, all right, hold on. Before you guys argue with me, I know you guys hate healthy. You eat all this garbage, you know, fast food shit. Okay, that's fine. But trust me, once you make this recipe for your significant other, right? Hint, hint. Dude, is he saying that every time he makes this for his girlfriend, he gets some? <laughs> I mean, look, this is how I landed my girlfriend over fried chicken. Can you believe it? And now we share fried chicken meals every single day? No, okay, every week. <laughs> Dude, are you trying to get us late, bro? <laughs> okay, guy. There's always so many crevices in the chicken that you gotta like hunt out. <laughs> Whatever's in your pantry right now, right? Go in your pantry. I know there's probably some Cheetos. Some uh, he must know where you're a part of it. <laughs> if you guys have any of these ingredients, utilize them. And then we have some amazing ghee right inside, right? So this is clarified butter. This is a little healthier version, much better than your vegetable oil, anything else that you may have. Again, if you don't have vegetable oil, or if you don't have ghee, oh, sorry, you're out of luck. Uh, one of us respects you. <laughs> this, you see how this already comes to a nice little simmer, right? It's getting hot. Nice way of knowing when it's done. Put your hand over it, all right? Not inside, I, I know, I already saw you. Ah! Over it, all right? If it's hot enough and your hand can't stay there for longer than five seconds, you know it's done, right? That's your number one thing. Gonna be honest with you, Phil, I'd never heard or seen Ghee before. Ghee! I thought, isn't that a character in Mighty Ducks? Ghee it up, dude. Yeah, I'm all about like max, whenever I'm frying anything, I try to maximize the amount of like oil and butter that I use. I think you got it. Full blast for 20 minutes. That's the back one. Okay. Full blast for 20 minutes. <laughs> and this chicken, once this goes in, you wanna hear that sizzle, all right? So here, follow me, let's see if it's gonna sizzle. All right, here we go, here we go. You guys ready? Here we go. Oh, there you go. You hear that? You, you got those nice little bubbles in there. This is, this is what it's called a shallow fry, all right? You don't need to put all this oil in there, just put some chicken, making sure all of it fits inside. Just like that, all right? You don't wanna overcrowd it either. Oh, mine's not gonna fit anyways. Yeah, you can move that over. Are we chefs now? <laughs> so we're gonna let this go for about five minutes, right? You wanna make sure it's done. And you see how this chicken itself is super thin. You can't put that big ass piece in there. If, it, if that big piece goes in there, you're gonna have undercooked chicken and you'll probably go to the hospital 
for something else than Corona. Okay, so we don't want that. Dark, very dark. See how it's going around? It's crisping up the edges. Nice golden, right? And look, you can tilt your pan like that. We're gonna flip this bad boy. Oh, you see how golden that is? Beautiful. Look at that. Now we're gonna flip this guy up. There we go. You see how there's nice little crisp edges that develop? That's what you're looking for, right? Woo! Phil Soban, you son of a bitch. That looks amazing. We're gonna let this go again for about two to three minutes until it's golden brown and delicious. All right, you wanna make sure the chicken's crisp and all these edges are just gonna really be nice and juicy and crunchy and oh my goodness, this is everything that you want from chicken. Oh yeah, that's looking good. Nice frying. Ooh. We chicken boys now. Them chicken boys. In the meantime, Corey Sean, where we want to do this, we're gonna take a little bit of sambal, or you could use sriracha. All right, this has a nice little heat to it. We're gonna put, I would say, three tablespoons of this. I like it hot, all right? El uno, el dos, and then third. <laughs> Jeez. We're gonna take a little bit of honey, and let that drizzle, look at that, all the way. Woo-wee! This is my favorite combo. You know what that is? Sweet heat. When you want that sweet, we're going with local hive Midwest honey. Got to support the Midwest when we can. It's just probably made out of ranch in some weird fashion, but he really squeezed it in there. So, so Yeah, fine. dude, go for it. Um, and then it looks like we're gonna have to stir it up, otherwise that's a weird ring of love. <laughs> This is something that always combines really nicely. I think Phil's turned on by this sauce. I sauce. know. <laughs> All you have to do is mix this up nice and easy. And look, it turns into a, almost like a glaze. See that? Nice little drizzle. This will be our sauce for that beautiful fried chicken. Oh boy, this smells good. Woo! I love just being able to steal ideas from this dude. Yeah. Phil, if you ever want any help with making sauces, we can definitely help you. I would use something else, your hot sauce, but you guys didn't give me any. So I gotta use what I have, you know? I'm sorry. I mean, let me ask you. Who doesn't love something that looks like this, right? Golden brown, delicious. All right, and look at this. Look at this beautiful chicken. Oh my goodness. All right, and then what we're gonna do? We're gonna take that beautiful little glaze I was telling you guys earlier about. All over. Oh yeah. This is exactly what you want. And the more sauce, the better. You guys know that, right? All right, so I need to, honestly, I don't even care. I'm just gonna dive right in. I'm gonna eat this like a savage. All right, this is hot. He burned his mouth. Oh, look how hot that is. Oh, don't show us that. Look at that. I almost burned out my mouth, holy <laughs> shit. All right, guys. So, hopefully you're at this step. Hopefully you're not at this rate like I am. You just gonna eat it with your hands? <laughs> Savage. Didn't even use a fork, I love it. Uh, we got some some sweet Hawaiian buns from Brownberry. So we're gonna make a sando, because we a sando uh, channel. <laughs> <laughs> what if we only had sandwiches from here on out? On the <laughs> Ooh, how you feel? Uh, hungry, ready to slam this. It looks so good, dude. Here we go. This thing is way too big. Oh my god. Look at that. Look at my United States of America. All right, we got a drizzle. Look at that. Ooh, it is very like glazy. Look at that. Phil, you mastermind. Ooh. <laughs> Savage. <laughs> nice work. All right, my smashed up chicken barely fits on the bun, but I don't care. I'm gonna have a bunch of chicken bites before I even get to the bread. Look how 
good that looks. Oh my god. Looks heavenly. Taste test. The Phil Saban fried chicken sandwich. Cheers. Cheers. Oh man. Mmm. 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 Wow. Mm, the adobo. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, I hate that he was right. Oh, adobo, I gotta get that. It's so crispy. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh my god. This is so good. I'm gonna make these a lot. Mm-hmm. You guys, that sweet heat on there that Phil said with that crispy chicken, this seriously took like 15 minutes. Mmm. It's crazy how quick you can make it, right? Mm-hmm. Wow. I'm making these for people. Oh yeah. I'm just gonna be like, who wants a fried chicken sandwich? I'm just handing this to somebody. I'm taking all the Bro, crap. you wanna blow somebody's mind? Mm-hmm. Have people over and make this. And they'll be like, well, dude, where'd you order this food from? Yeah. I'm like, oh, I just made it. I know. Ugh. The pickle Phil? juice has gotta be a hack, too. Pickle juice, too. Yeah, Phil, you've done it again. Mm. Wow. If you guys like this video, all Phil's links are linked below. He's doing classes. One of the nicest guys you've ever met in this culinary world. Also, spoiler alert. What is the perfect pairing for fried chicken? You guys are gonna have to find out because Corey and Shine have something special for you to pair this up. And I'm making it right now. Sure! I'll have a bite. Mm. Oh my god. That's unreal, like legitimately so unreal. Wow. That wasn't on video, was it? <laughs>